below. After 600 feet, bear left, then go left on the roundabout and take the first bears exit. Left. Bears left. I see no bears. Open up, well done. Right, we are now. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Western Avenue. Heading to Taunton Dean Services. That's where I'm heading. At the end of the road, turn right. I thought I was going to end up back in the yard, but um, so I gave them the option. I said I can do. I don't mind it, which, which, whichever you want to do. I can either run down the road or I can um, stay in the yard tonight. So uh, it might be. Uh, he said uh, six and a half a dozen sort of thing. I said, well, it really depends on whether you've got me an early start on the Thursday or not got me an early start on the Thursday then I need to get down there to get back so I need to run down the road yeah that'd be a good idea yeah yeah it would be wouldn't it yeah so I'm running down the road to be honest I really didn't mind you know I'd have been back in the yard for done back in the yard for two o'clock today I didn't even contemplate going home if I was gonna but uh, as it is, I'm gonna. After 900 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, First Avenue. I'm gonna get to Taunton Dean about four o'clock. Park up. Have 14 hours off, I think, or something like that. It's only an hour from Taunton, hour and a half. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. the dogs for 57 minutes. It's not too bad, but it could have been a lot quicker. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A35, Redbridge Road. Left, please complete the job. I thought I already had. Move shut. Oh. It's only a 20 footer tomorrow. Um, that weighs next to nothing. Five and a half ton. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A35. Oh, Red you Ridge took Road. so long. There's various ways I could go, um, but what I'm doing is I'm going up the A34. 
So I don't want to go through Salisbury because that's just a pain in the ass. If it was early hours, then I might. Not this time of day. Got a nice and easy run, and I'm in no rush, so. Uh, A34303. Although it's a little bit further, you're not having to, you're not working the truck as hard. No stop starts, steady running, constant, constant speeds. I haven't even got enough weight on the back to stop the trailer from being a bit janky. I'll put you on when I get along the uh, 303 a bit because there'll be some nice views today. Well, hopefully there will be because it's uh, after sunny. 600 feet. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, M271, towards the Midlands. Yeah, we'll do that. Speech is later. Hello, time now 14:13. I just thought I'd put you on because we're 303 westbound, heading into Bandit Country. Down into that. Dark as Devon. There'll be pirates about. But at the moment, we're in Wiltshire. Relatively safe. Not many pirates in Wiltshire being landlocked. Told you we come in the Wiltshire. Oof, we're in. So the plan today, get a Taunton Dean, pull the card, have an ice cream. That's, that's my plan. I quite fancy a magnet. Oh, rum and raisin cornetto. Do they do those? I quite like a rum and raisin ice cream. Fresh strawberries in the lay -by. Now, is there really fresh strawberries in the lay or are they just bullshitting us? Because right now I could pull over because I could quite do with a fresh strawberry. But oh look, no, there's not. Wankers. There is the other side. Andy. Just risk life and limb for a strawberry. Bedding. There you go. Then we've got 
74 miles to go. It's lovely van here. But I think there might be a bit of a hold up. Only four minutes out at the moment. See some good views in a minute. I'm still yawning. Bug splatters. I've already got some sort of squirty, shitty. Whatever that seagull had eaten, I've got no idea what it was, or goose, or whatever it was, but whatever it was, didn't do it, but then me must have had a bit of an issue. He had a dodgy kebab, I reckon. Look at the view! Thrusters are on. There you go. So I'll speak to you all um, when we get to another part of my scenery. I'll speak to you later. Hello. <clears throat> now I'm going to see some views. English fruit, is there? Is there? English fruit in Layby. Plenty of signs. There's a surprise. Sign for Lana Ritchie at Wormsey. What's Lana Ritchie doing at Wormsey? some fields up here on the right that are normally full of poppies but uh, here. How good is that? Look at that. The first thruster is activated. in check. Sixty 
two more to go. Now the trick will be whether I can make it there in the time that I've got left, drive time that I've got. 62 miles I'm on 2 hours 42 so technically we can but that doesn't take into account any fuck wittery not that I'm expecting any looks like a clear looks like we've got a clear shot but you know you never know Cruise console, cruise control set to 53. Steady pace. So all being well, I reckon we'll get there probably about four hours. So that gives us 30, 30 minutes of wiggle room, which should be enough. We might need to pull over for a peek, but. Uh, should be alright. back up again and then there's some more good views so just stay with me I think oh it's, lo it's just a lovely place After this, he's got plenty of time. This little mini should make it through alright. There they go. They just overtook me just a minute ago. They must have stopped at the, uh, to get some strawberries that weren't there. Follow A three hundred and three towards Mir for twenty six miles. Well, thanks for that. Yeah, they're doing with the roadworks down here, down at Sparkford. So what they've done. It's been a little while since I've been down here. I can't remember the last time I, I was. It was a yeah, it's a good little while ago. turn you off for a bit, then there's another one, then I'll turn you off a bit till we get the roadworks. Because we all know how, like, how you like a good set of roadworks.
they cut all those trees down in there on the right hand side? I thought they were going to start doing this road or something, but sort of chop them all down and that was it. Ground to a halt. Last chance, strawberries and cherries. Well, you've been lying to me all the way down, saying there's bloody strawberries and cherries. I think I might give you the last chance. Look at that, isn't that just spectacular? Much time more this week will turn to yellow. Wheat and barley. Speak to you all in a bit. Hello, coming to another uh, good view, I think, if I remember rightly. by up on the right here, I stayed in there one night, it was so windy, I had to put the legs of my trailer down, the stadium was a really stormy night. I was empty so I was getting uh, buffeted about a bit. But here you go, look at this view, you only get a little glimpse then we go down into the hedges. Looking left if you can.
you go. I'll speak to you again in a bit. Well, I think this has buggered it. Um, there appears to be some sort of fuck wittery. Whether it's an accident or I don't know, but we're stationary, stationary a couple of minutes now. Um, vehicles on the other side, oncoming traffic, that was stationary just a minute ago. Just keep an eye out for blue lights coming from behind. Seem to be swerving round things down there, but I can't. There's something that's gone through the central reservation, which is what I reckon's happened. going on here. There's one. Oh. There's always one, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> There's cars, there's cars parked on my side. Yeah, usual shit, innit? Oh no, easy down, you're only going money going to Tallinn. Probably wouldn't have heard none of that, but I think there's a car on its roof down here. So, I don't know on what side or where. It's filtering through, as long as we can get through we'll be alright still. They decide to close the road. Let's hope everyone's alright. Well that's the main thing, let's hope everyone's alright. God alive. Road here. I can't see what what's happened. Is that a trailer? Somebody's trailer. Don't tell me, going too fast. They got a wobble on with a trailer. Mazda pickup. Mazda pickup with a, uh, a trailer full of logs. And uh, I reckon the summit happened and they um, lost it. 
Bill was sat, I think it looked like there was a couple of them sat down on the side on the hard sh on the, on the centre of the reservation, they looked in shock. But, uh, they looked alright. Jeez, they were lucky. They were lucky. It was only this morning I was reading about about uh, people towing caravans and driving too fast. And uh, people, you know, people driving at 60, 65, 70 mile an hour with a caravan on the back. Are you fucking mental? You know? You get that pendulum effect going on and uh, you ain't got no hope. I reckon that trailer was overloaded. It's surprising how heavy all that wood can be. There was logs everywhere. Oh, I don't know. Well, let's hope they're all alright. I don't think there's anyone left in the cars. seeing shit like that. station is now closed here which I, I did did wonder whether it would be didn't I do you remember yeah I wonder if that will reopen again who knows Views here as we look down over towards uh, the Overton over on the left, home with the fleet air arm, Royal Naval Air Station, the Overton. Nowhere near the bloody sea. Well, we're not. We're not far away. If you, if you go by helicopter, it's not that far at all. That road, that 303 is going to be shut. We cover that lot. They've got to turn it on its side, on the round the right way. And uh, yeah, that, that road's going to be shut shortly. So we were very lucky to get through. Bakery's still going. Open. Where are you going to park that?
slow traffic now. They've had to dig out there, look, it's about two, three, three foot deep, look. need to take a 30 minute break. Close. on time so anyway I'll speak to you all in a little while crocodile hello just coming into Taunton 30 mile an hour limit another place where they've um, it was badly designed. It's ambulance coming up through. Keep left, then go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. There you go, when you go. This is where it gets a bit just round here, it just gets just narrow. After six hundred feet Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A358. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. But we've got to stay in this left hand lane all the way around. So again, unless you knew the area, you'd be all over the place here. Yeah? Take the exit, A358, yeah, then go the left on the roundabout and take the first exit, M5, towards Exeter. It's not even really a roundabout. Well, I suppose After it is. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then take the motorway. Go left on the and roundabout again, yeah. and take the first exit, Narrow. then take the motorway. Yours. M5. 
five south. just under, which means I'll have just over 50 miles to go tomorrow morning, and I'm going to be there till 9, and I'll sit there, I can get up, get the car in at 7, and uh, mooch on over, very civilised. I hope we can get in, it should be alright at 4 o'clock, but yeah, we should be absolutely fine. But it might be full of bloody caravans. So we M5 southbound. For those of you that don't know the area, M5 southbound is headed down towards Devon and Cornwall. Well, I'd imagine most people would have gotten where they're going by now. I've actually not been able to get into the northbound before, turn round at the junction there and come back down and got into southbound here. Four hours and one minute of driving. 3.4 miles to go, let's hope there's no more fuck -rittery. Two and a half miles to go. Unless he goes into the services and then gets the last spot and then I'll be... Ugh. He's about to lose some wood off that transit. slow now. Well, that was an easy day. I started at half five this morning and it's now just four o'clock. And that's the way it should be. Sensible day. One more to go. You know, I've got enough hours in the day. To get all the way down there, but it's like there's nowhere to park when I get there, so there's no point. I could get down to Exeter, but by the time I'm down there, it's another half hour, 40 minutes. Half hour, and then it, then it might start getting a little busy, so. And Exeter Services serves both southbound and northbound, so um, yeah, not worth the chance. Half a mile, coming in hot. Prepare for landing, landing gear is down. We buzz the tower. <laughs> we'll 
do you think this is? Fucking Top Gear. No, Top Gun. He is going in there. Bastard, I bet he gets the last spot. Oh. Right, I know where I want to stop. Whether there's anybody there or not. Oh, it's looking good. I like to stop. Don't, no, don't stop where oh, you are, aren't you? Stop here. Just here. Just. There. That's why I like to stop. And that's why I'm going to stop. That means I can then get out. And have the puffer back. Perfect. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you all again tomorrow. Bye.